Well, Bristol Grammar School has invested in a, a wonderful new performing arts centre this year. It's been 10 years in the planning. It's a very long-term plan on behalf of the governors and the, the headmaster and also the previous director of music. I've only come in as director of music this year. So I'm in the very fortunate position to have inherited the building. And one thing I discovered is that whilst we had a, a, a very strong, solid fleet of pianos, there are a number of areas where we needed to improve what we had in order to cater for the students that we have. Um, and the many performers we have coming in from outside as well, both professional and visiting uh, companies who are renting the facilities. It was crucial we had a high quality performing instrument for the Mackay, which was which has always been a performance space. It's now been acoustically treated and turned into a small but really beautifully state-of-the-art uh, recital space. But we just heard our first performance of this in, in the Mackay Theatre and it sounds glorious. And instantly you could feel the way that the audience um, focused in on what was being performed, the, the magic of the instruments capturing people's hearts. Uh, and that's going to be an inspiration for all our students and I'm sure our staff. Uh, I arrived at Coach House Pianos in the afternoon and was greeted by the staff there. They were really friendly and very helpful. And I was directed to a couple of pianos. One was a Bersendorfer and the other was a Steinway and I spent a couple of hours playing both instruments. Um, I, mean, I, I started with the Bersendorfer and it was just incredibly beautiful, very, really colourful um, and not like anything I'd, I'd played to that point. Um, and then I did go to the Steinway for a bit but I didn't spend too long there because I wanted to go back and play the other piano because <laughs> it's so beautiful and it's, it's unique. What it has is all the things that you're looking for, so it has clarity but it has warmth, it has precision, um, it, but it's not in any way, it, it, it blends beautifully, all the sounds blend together and you can get lovely sounds from each register of the instrument and uh, it's sort of playing the best of the best so I think without a doubt it will inspire them uh, to, to create colour and, and a story and musicality in their playing. I'm extremely proud of uh, taking charge of such a wonderful instrument and I'm conscious that the students themselves will be proud of that and that will be part of the inspiration. It's extremely important to us this particular instrument. We had a member of staff here for many years who was a musician by initial training. He actually became a, an English teacher in the eyes of most people. Um, he himself wrote and performed music. He was an inspiration both in terms of literature and the performance of music in our school. Um, he very sadly died, David Selwyn died in post, um, and this instrument is bought primarily with the legacy he left the school and very much in his memory. And it just brings together so many aspects of our school uh, a love of creativity, uh, an inspiration in the arts, and a joy of young people connecting and, ins and being inspired with the creative and performing arts. Well, I came down to Coach House to try out uh, many of the pianos in your, in your warehouse, your extensive fleet of pianos. Um, I came down to two other pianos, and there was something about the Bosendorf when I came down to my final two or three, something about the tonal qualities of that particular instrument, never having played a Bosendorf other than an upright that I used to have at my previous school. There was something about the tonal quality of the piano that was incredibly balanced, um, it was very harmonically rich. I mean, firstly, my, my aim is to cater both for the students in the school, um, also for visiting artists. So we're looking to um, use the quality of the piano to attract visiting pianists, or obviously give workshops here. Um, and thirdly, I'm very, very keen that the wonderful facility in the Performing Arts Centre can be opened up to students in other local schools. Um, that's something which I think is very important for us as a charity, um, which after all the school does. As a school, we're conscious that creativity and inspiration are at the heart of making sure children can find themselves and discover what their particular talents are and music is a core part of that. Over the years I've been here we've been developing the opportunities for students to participate in creating music and we're interested in music of all genres and also, they also need quality spaces that support and inspire them and indeed they need quality instruments. It, it's actually the central part of what we're doing as a school to build within young people a sense of confidence and understanding and excitement in learning. What I, my experience tells me uh, from years in education that when you find for a child the bit of magic that 
inspires them and connects with their imagination, that builds confidence and excitement. That uh, sense of self-confidence ripples out into all aspects of their learning. So, and music for many of our children is, is that very bit of magic, which gives them a sense of uh, identity, um, a sense of strong self-worth, and that um, builds into all aspects of their learning. So I'm crystal clear that if you can create magical music experiences for children, you will actually be enhancing the academic progress, and you'll see that in terms of exam results.